City of Westfield Board of Public Works and Safety meeting to order for August 24, 2016. Will you uh, please know the presence of quorum? We do have a quorum. Very good. The uh, next item would be um, the minutes? minutes from July 27, 2016. Having had a chance to review those, are there any additions, corrections, or comments? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion. Move to accept the minutes of July 27th. I'll second that. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Action item number two, Westfield Boulevard Extension Construction Bid. Now, this is fun. Finally. Uh, had our letting yesterday. Bids came in for the project. This is the roundabout west of Target along 151st that ultimately connects under US, US 31. They built a, a bridge there um, a couple years well, back. Actually, we built a bridge. We, <laughs> we paid for it. Um, so bids came back yesterday, 10.6% per, 10 under engineer's estimate, under what we had slated for the project. So that's great news. Um, it's our recommendation to award the contract to Millennium uh, for 2,804,000. $39.86. Um, the contract's not been completed since we just had the letting yesterday, so we're asking for the signing authority for Jeremy Lawler once that contract gets put together. Any questions? So detail the limits for me. Does this do the, the pathway on the north side of 151? This include There's a trail along the west side of this road that okay. ultimately connects up to what NDOT built, so we've got some work to finish that out yeah. east of 31. The project also includes That's a trail it. connection from 156th over to the whatever property that is. It's always underwater, yeah. so we're working on details Marine to get land. from here where NDOT left off to connect ultimately over to, what is the wheel, Natalie Wheeler? But we still don't know how to get across the street. We've got uh, we've yeah, got so ideas. Huh? We've got a, we've got a conceptual plan in place. Will it be a part of this? It won't be a part of this project, no. But you are adding that trail on the west side of thirty one. Correct. As a part of as part project. of this project. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So it's been a long time coming. We ran into some right away issues. Did all the utility relocation. So we're excited to get the thing. So this, the back to the main road there. I mean, it's it's clear. Yep. We, Utilities cleared. Yep. Yep. It's all ready to go. Cleared the trees to stay within the bat habitat. You got for you got all the right of entries for the roundabout and everything. Yep. And you're going to close that road down when for how long? We don't know when it'll be next year sometime, probably spring. Uh, Sixty day closure. We're gonna we been intimately involved with the target folks to make sure they're not affected we're, we're we were trying to finish the project this year but they don't want any negative effects on 151st starting november 15th so we're going to wait we could have squeezed it in this year but i don't it would have been too tight it would have been it would have been too close to affecting them so we're going to wait till spring to actually do the closure so offline this fall and this winter they'll build as much of the north section as they can and then hit the ground running in the spring to close the road and build that roundabout quickly and do the tie-ins and should be open to traffic. Yep, you said 60 days are going to close that. Yep, it'll be a 60 day closure. So basically they'll close, they'll have, this drive is getting reconstructed to the west. It'll be a full access drive. They'll close probably somewhere about right here. So folks will still be able to get in and out of Target. the target. Our goal and hope is to have this constructed and basically barricaded off so that they have access to the north as well. And Chief, you're included on all road closures. So anytime we have a road closure, yeah, so you know, yeah, yeah. 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 you're uh, 82 yeah, that's westbound good. Yeah. is going to have to get on the southbound uh, CD um, so and go down to uh, Greyhound Pass, take that and go back north. Yeah, right up there. You follow the mouse. Yep. Go west. And, you, and during you, that, you well, use that route a lot. Yep. And during that closure, we'll make sure. Obviously, we'll coordinate with you, you folks in particular. Yeah. If there's 
temporary pavement set up to where we can get you through. We'll work with you, obviously. Any, any more questions? All right. So, 30 to 60 days start? Yeah, yep. Yeah. We'll get with Millennium here in the next <coughs> week or two, get them nose to proceed and move forward. They'll start ordering materials and hit the ground running. Okay. I would move to accept uh, a bid from Millennium Construction for this project. Okay, I'll second that. Here she is. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Sorry, everyone. Thank you. Sorry, Charlie. show the Cape Santa Cruz arrived. Thank you. I would stop on. Next order of business is action item number three. Uh, goods and services for the construction of the Monon Trail State Road 32 to 181st Street EMB contract. So this one is a construction contract to complete the Monon Trail connection. The at grade connection along Wheeler Road. I'm going to turn this stuff off because this is just mucking it up. Uh, as you all know, we got a bridge coming in, the Monon Bridge over 32 here in a couple of years. We've got the at grade portion built along the west side of Wheeler Road down here. Uh, I think we finished that last year, so we're looking to build this last stretch between 181st and Wheeler. Everything north of there to the Monon Trail Elementary is built and completed. So this is kind of the last segment. Except for that little tiny piece. The little yeah. <laughs> really tiny piece. So I was going to ask you if that was... It's yeah. 32 to 190... No, 181. 181, yep. Yep. The contract is for $181,250.94 with EMB paving. And it's it under, under budget again. Goes to the west of Wheeler. So it'll go along the west side of Wheeler. It'll start here. Actually, it'll, it'll hug Wheeler because our plan is to salvage and keep as much of that in place when they do the bridge as possible. So it'll, it'll hug the west, the bridge will be all the way on the west side of the property. So our at grade piece will run as close to Wheeler as we can. And basically when that bridge touches down, it'll be somewhere up here. Actually, it'll be yeah, somewhere up here. We'll dive that back in and then build the at grade piece. So when they do build the bridge, we're not wrecking that. We're able to hopefully keep it open the best we can. It'll be a good size hill. It'll be a good size hill. It'll be pretty steep, yeah. And that bridge goes all the way over Tournament Trail. Yep, it spans Tournament Trail as well. That's a big bridge. And it's a monster bridge. It'll be cool. It'll be fun project. And that's uh, tentatively, what, 18, 2018? Yes. Yep. Fiscal 19, so we'll start construction summer, fall of 18, and probably wrap it up in 19. Okay. Now this segment we're talking about, it gets finished this year, as you Correct. told me, for 10 years. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Since you've been here. <laughs> Absolutely. And we have all the faith in the world. EMB, they're a big, big outfit, so this is a tiny project for them, so it shouldn't be any issue for them. Okay. And just for the record, this is not the bridge. This is just the at grade piece. Right. Make a motion to approve action item number three, goods and services for the construction of the Mount on Trail E&B contract. Second. Much has been made and seconded uh, to approve action item number three. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. On to action <coughs> item number four. Approval to dispose and replace proper, uh, property slash equipment. MP trade. Can you open that? Yes. Is that me? Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, for the record, the... Um, Police Department is seeking approval to trade in um, the assets listed on the document uh, for purchase credit. Credit will offset the additional purchase and replacement for authorized backup weapons and equipment. Um, so in a nutshell, for trading credit, we're looking at 46 clocks 
or 46 Glock Model 42 38 caliber. It's our current backup gun. Um, trade in value of $200 a piece for $9,200. Uh, and one Glock Model 43, which is a 9mm, for $250. And then also trade in value of uh, would be seven Benelli 12 gauge shotguns that we're currently in our inventory. Um, so the total value of the trade-ins would be $13,800. Um, to purchase 47 um, Smith & Wesson, <coughs> and the, brand, the model is a Shield 9mm. So we're trying to go from a 380 to a 9mm. Uh, and the cost of that is $14,100, along with the, the backup holsters that would go with it, which would total $15,478.70. Um, subtracting the credit of thirteen eight hundred, we would have to pay the sixteen seventy eight seventy out of our current budget. So. How do we decide on the vendor, Chief? Um, we actually tested several weapons. Um, we, uh, the FBI had actually put together uh, research studies over the past several years on nine millimeters versus the other caliber weapons. Um, and so then we. We knew we wanted 9mm, and uh, this is just the first phase of two phases. So the, the, the long-term goal is to phase out all our weapons and go to 9mm. So this is the first phase of that. And it's due to three things. It's the capacity in which the gun holds, uh, the accuracy in which the 9mm nine the nine millimeter, uh, compares to the 380 and the 40 caliber, along with the uh, the current technology on the bullet itself, the 9mm, gives us more penetration. So all those three factors factored into what right. we're going to do. But how did we pick the Columbia City Precision Arms of Indiana? Oh, a bit. A, it was a bit process. Yeah, was that a, was my was question. A, I'm sorry. Okay. No, that's right. Yeah, there was a, at least three different vendors that we we bit down to. Thank you. you will. Yeah, they, they don't actually even recognize the 380 as I don't know what the word is, but... Uh, uh, the caliber of that as being an effective weapon, uh, as what I've read, so the nine millimeter would be the would be the proper appropriate weapon to use for the backup weapon as opposed to the 380. Yeah, they come a long way with the the weapons. Um, the big reason for the 42 originally is the size, mm -hmm. so we would carry it off duty. And this Smith is basically the same size, but it holds two more rounds. So. And we had some we had some issues with the 42s. Um, a lot of our weak wristed people were having misfeeds, and it's just not happening with the Smiths. So. Okay. Guns. Make a motion to approve action item number four: approval to dispose and replace of equipment. Second. Motion has been made and seconded to approve action item number four. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Action item number five. Petition Westfield Grassy Knoll Reconstruction. So this is a petition <coughs> Ultimately, it's going to go to the Hamilton <coughs> County Drainage Board. Let's see here. Grassy Knoll Subdivision, east of Grassy Branch. They've got an outlet to their pond that is culverted to the west under Grassy Branch. It runs through private property through here and ultimately gets to the Wheeler and Beals drain. So they are petitioning to the board, Hamilton County Drainage Board, to reconstruct and ultimately take this over as a county legal drain. So as part of that, the Homeowner Association has petitioned to us, to the board, um, basically to get your guys' concurrence, which ultimately will go in front of the Hamilton County Drainage Board. So so what's our, why, why are we involved? I don't know. Just I, like- I think it's a- form, We don't object to it? Yeah, I think it's a formality. I. So the, the subdivision wants the county to maintain the drain? Correct. Who, who maintains it now? 
No, but on private property, it was temporary. It was built back in, I don't know when the subdivision Gosh, came subdivision's got to be 20, 30 20 years old. 30 years old, yeah. So it was a temporary, there was a future section to the west. That, mm -hmm. So they temporarily drained it through there. The section to the west never got built. So now it's, these folks are a little bit alarmed in that their outlet to their pond is through private property, which doesn't have an easement through it or anything. So. Mm -hmm. And in our minds, this makes a ton of sense. Is the homeowner in that situation aware this is going on? Yep, the county's coordinating with them right now to acquire the easements, and they put together a design. So it's it's all in the works. Everything's looking pretty good. Just I think this is again just a formality okay. for the board. Doesn't cost us anything, right? I think we will be we would participate in. A portion of the construction they put an estimate together I think it was eighteen thousand dollars we haven't figured out exactly what that cost would be to us um, but I, I think we would have a contribution to that stormwater mm -hmm. yep okay. which is what our stormwater fund would, this would be a perfect project for that okay I'll move to accept this uh, petition for the grassy knoll reconstruction drain second Motion has been made and seconded to uh, approve action item number five, Westfield Grassy Knoll Reconstruction. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Um, anyone care to have any discussion or review of the consent agenda, or are we good for a vote? You got to sign some stuff. Fee installment agreement, Cambria. Yep. I know about them. Yeah, I can open any of these up if you'd like. Nope. I'm, I'm good. I am too. Yes. I'll make a motion to approve the consent agenda as stated. Second. Second. Motion has been made and seconded to approve the consent agenda. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Brings us uh, down to department reports. And first up is Chief Reed. Uh, <coughs> I, Welcome. I, I don't have a whole bunch to report. <laughs> um, uh, if, I guess if you scroll down, this is just our calls for the month. Um, there's nothing here that's, uh, you know, they're, they're, it's kind of business as usual is how I would characterize it. <clears throat> this is all stuff that we're going to start paying a little bit more attention to in terms of our uh, we need to start drilling down in some of our data pieces that uh, that'll be a long-term piece so we want to take a look at um, you know uh, in terms of like what we're actually being sent uh, what we're dispatched to and what we actually find those are pieces that we really need to kind of start taking a hard look at that makes, you know, kind of the, the makes your determinations about really in the end what we want to make sure is we get to send the right resource, the right call, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? And not over, you know, not over utilized resource in that way. So um, there's nothing here that's really earth shattering. Um, it's pretty much, like I said, pretty much business as usual. So Chief, welcome. Yeah. And Thank you. so one of the things that I've mentioned through the years that I'd love for you to take a look at is our numbers per capita. We compare ourselves to ourselves from last year and an outsider looking at those numbers thinks, whoa, those numbers are really going up, well, but we don't any... look at them because of our populate because of the population growth. Am I articulating that correctly or not? Do you see what I'm saying? So somewhat, it could be alarming to look at the statistics right. thinking we have a static population of 30,000 people. Right. That's and not the case. So I would like to start yeah. looking at... It's just like when Joel well, reports some of his crashes and burglaries and all, and but when you look at it on a per capita basis, it's... Right. It's good. Someone not as educated as yourselves could pull <coughs> up numbers that don't reflect well right? because they're not looking at the population increase. Right. That's all I'm saying. No, 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 we'll do that. Um, one of the things that we need to do from the, what we're, we're, we need to put a strategic plan together. It's, we have one, but we need to uh, redo it a little bit. And it needs to be measurable, right? And so there's a, there's a term we call community risk reduction, which is really 
one of our goals as an organization should be to reduce the number and severity of, it, of incidents, period. And so we'll measure those as we kind of move forward. Um, there's a whole bunch of different reasons why those numbers are the way they are. I could just tell you without even, without even really looking into it, the fact of the matter is we train, our, we train everybody to dial 911 for just about anything. And so that's going to get you some stuff. People are pretty smart in terms of recognizing what they need um, to get an ambulance. A couple of keywords, short of breath, chest pain. So there's a bunch of pieces there that we need to kind of take a look at. And there's a whole, there's a whole dispatch component to it um, and taking a little bit more time to kind of figure out again. And again, then we'll start talking about what kind of, the calls don't bother me as much as are we sending the right thing mm -hmm. to the right call? Mm -hmm. That's what we got to get, that, and that's just about efficiency. So, so noted. Thank you. <coughs> yeah, if you scroll down. Nope. Oh, nope. Sorry. That was okay. going to be good. Just below that. Yep. So I'm sure I looked at it. <coughs> yep, it's fixed. Oh, good. Ambulance 81 was not populating on the bar graph. So it's in the past, yeah. In the past, we're good. Yeah, the last, yeah. Randy's mentioned that a few times. Every couple you months. do remember that, don't you? <laughs> yes. I, I actually, just so that you know, I mean, and I know the Chief Rox knows that I actually, I go through every slide on these things uh, at the meeting, and I do look at these, and I, I look for things that occasionally I'll have questions as to why things are or a comment as to, you know, if things are up or down or right. if there, there's a reason for that or a trend, but... Um, um, they're, they're not they're not prepared in vain they, they do get uh, read and reviewed and um, so you know I'll be, I'll be ready <laughs> <laughs> all right thank you and welcome thank you I do need to talk to you briefly after the meeting I have some information for you okay. so all right. um, chief rush I mean, our stats right now, they're pretty consistent. And um, the, trend, the, the trend really still with the major crime is down. I mean, if you look at our robberies, you look at our burglaries, they are still down. Um, it's, it, it seems like we've had an uptick in property crime, you know, thefts from vehicles. A lot of that has to do with where it's happening. It's more um, publicized at this point. You know, a lot of the uh, it hit Bridgewater a little bit, it hit in other places. Uh, it's not up really high uh, compared to last year, the year before. Um, sometimes it's just where it's at. Mm -hmm. You're hearing about it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. uh, but we are, I mean, we try to educate as much as we can on the, the property crimes, breaking in the vehicles, um, but it just doesn't reach people and that's not getting it. Um, there is a, an element of people out there that are opportunists that they take advantage of our complacency in Hamilton County and, and they're just looking for the opportunities and, and they call it uh, car hopping and they do it every day and you know you just can't get the word out enough that this is happening and we're, we're blessed but yet at the same time I mean we don't have a lot of major crime here you have stuff like that I mean you know people think it's it's you know crazy crime but if you compare us to talk about comparing with Marion County or or you know even a lot of the, the local um, cities around us we're, we're still low um, <coughs> other than I mean crime like I said is, is fairly flat uh, other than major crime is down still I just you know, we, the mayor and I talk about this is like how far down we'll go I mean it seems like I'm not I don't even talk about it <laughs> <laughs> I know. we have one incident and it that your category increases by 100%. Right, right. That's the problem with zeros and all that stuff. Um, so the, but it's the, beautiful. The officers do a great job and then try to get out of the cars as much as we can. They are a lot of service calls still, you know, and the things that the this, this city uh, enjoys about us, we're still doing and, and doing a lot of foot patrols, doing a lot of bike patrols, doing a lot of vacation checks and residence mm. checks. And, and um, you know, those are service calls and, they, and we do a lot of them. It's very much appreciated. Yeah, uh, yeah I think they, there was a lot of benefit to it. Uh, our next coffee at the cop is September 16th. It's on Friday. Uh, 
I'm not sure where we'll look for our Facebook page and we'll, we'll send out word at. I'm not sure what Billy has that set up at. Uh, the Lantern Awards, Billy Adams Hold received that. One that. A second. Uh, couldn't have went to a better person. And guys, uh, I think you know you look at what Tony Dungy did for the Colts when he came in and and he pushed that whole outreach thing. And he's Billy's a great example of, of doing that. Um, Village Farms resident. He is. Represent. He is. Who is? Billy Adams. Village Farms oh, resident. He's just, he's just got a, a lot just of like things going for him. Point that out. He's a Putting mentor for youth assistance. He is a mentor. He's, he's on the, the student impact board. Um, he He's involved with the, a lot of adult education and education involving um, children and drug abuse. So he's teaching the parent about what to see in the kid. Uh, he's one of our DREs, which are drug recognition experts. Um, so he knows a little bit about it. Uh, does the copy of the cop. He does the Hampton County uh, Youth. Um, it's, it's the camp they, that they give mm -hmm. every summer. Um, and that's just part of it. Uh, a lot of things you just don't see. But he, he, he's, like I said, a fine example of what we want all our officers to be. So, and he's productive on the street at the same time. Um, Wade Patron is in his, I think it's between six and seven week of his 14 weeks at the academy. So he's going through that, just that, trying to get through phase right now, you know. And um, we were looking at hopefully hiring at least a couple next year. So we're talking about the process and what kind of process we want to do for next time. So that's what we're doing. Questions? You haven't seen any bad drugs around like these other people, huh? You know what? Um, no, we we have actually. I mean, we're getting we're still seeing a lot of overdoses. I think yesterday I heard three on the radio. Yeah. Uh, two, yep. two of which were Noblesville. One was ours down at the Holiday Inn. I saw that. So yeah, I mean, it's part of it. We all we all carry Narcan now. No, it's almost over the counter anymore. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's your situation with the body cams? But, um, still, still just digging into the policies, making sure that we have everything lined up right before we put them out. They're ready to go, other than the policy. Okay. Anything else for the chief? Thanks, chief. Thank you, sir. You're up next, Phil. Department of Public Works. Who's going to do that? Phil. <laughs> Sounds like I am. What's well, teamwork? I did it this morning at the meeting. You can do it. We're I team. can do it. I can remember what you this said. This is how we work together. <laughs> Joel, you want to give it? Yeah. <laughs> what did you do? It's, it's the same every month. <laughs> no, see? He doesn't even need to hear it. Street maintenance, crack sealing continuing. Uh, those guys are putting in pretty good effort right now, getting that finished up um, they've done a good job of that. yeah great job absolutely um, some shoulder work going on still we've got a bunch of new uh, surface going down throughout the city so those guys are following those crews up getting shoulders knocked out yeah we do it ourselves yep and we do it ourselves it saves a lot of money a lot of work for those guys so uh, park maintenance sounds like there's a new gate installed at the Monon Trail at 161st. That's exciting. It is uh, exciting. <laughs> we've got the Mill Street project going on right now. Um, that actually is really, really exciting. Here in about a month, they're going to be setting a 32-foot three-sided culvert. That kind of that kind of stuff is should be exciting for you all as well. <laughs> um, you like it. They're going to be setting a <coughs> monster crane, so if you guys are freed up in the next month or so swing over Mill Street. That project's pretty okay. exciting. Um, Westfield Boulevard Extension, that's a project you guys just approved. Getting ready to kick off construction, obviously. Midland, Section 4, that's from Gunther to Gray. That is almost completed construction. They're wrapping up some of the plantings right now, some of the landscaping work. Is that pavement done? Pavement is done, is I believe. Is Noblesville started? Noblesville has not started. I think they're going to construction. Maybe you might know better than I do next year. I believe they've pushed mm -hmm. in another year. They had right-of-way issues. They had a lot of parcels on that project. So 
I think their plan is to go to construction next year. They yeah, should have called and talked to you yeah. years ago, right? Yeah, I, I agree. Um, that's pretty much it right now. Any questions? These are some of the future projects we'll have going on in the next couple of years. I'm good. Okay. Me too. Mr. Mayor, any, anything additional? Okay. Motion to adjourn. Move. Second. All in favor of suit five is saying aye. 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 Meeting is adjourned. <laughs>